And time will heal some, but how much will heal, we can't answer. And it is all speculation at this point. Well, we are a forgiving society, as Tom Jackson alluded to. There's no question of that, but I think it's going to be how near the rest of the Falcons. So the league will weigh in first. Kenton Keith is trying to win the backup job against Joseph Adai. And he takes it inside the 10-yard line. Good drive here with three and a half to go in the half. You're not there in the offseason when Peyton Manning is coming in four days a week and watching every pass he throws in the prior season. Kenton Keith with the return. Clinton Solomon made the tackle. You know, Mike, that's, I, I made this statement about Peyton Manning, and, and, and you just said it. Been suspended for the first eight games of the season, even if he's not on anybody's roster. This moves by Kenton Keith get us out to the 36-yard line. We'll have third. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the Detroit Lions next. Kickoff coming up in just moments. Nor and back there to receive is Kenton Keith at about the five-yard line. Keith getting an opportunity here to return tonight because they have uh, an injury problem with T.J. Rushing. Uh, this, yeah, we should be able to see those guys quickly. Here's Keith at the six-yard line, across the 25, and breaks a tackle and keeps on going. A nice extra effort move by Kenton Keith there, and Brandon Middleton finally able to bring him down, but Kenton Keith with a nice return. Yeah, great effort, and he just kept his balance and uh, fought through a couple tackles. Nice return. So we've got a timeout on the field once again as the Colts return to the offensive side of the football in a moment after these messages. That's not serious. It looked like uh, definitely a little limp there. Right knee, they say, as Ken Keith gets the call. And the running back moves it all the way down to the 10-yard line. Keith, of course, a first-year player of New Mexico State. 5'11", 198. Looked good on that run. Boy, he sure did. And Ken Keith gives you a little more size. Maybe not the quickness in the hole, but certainly he's going north and south. And another nice job by this offensive line. And this offensive line doesn't get nearly enough credit for the job that they do, not only pass protection-wise, but certainly in the rush game as well. Second down at the 10-yard line, second and two. Here is Kenton Keith. Turns the corner, takes it up inside strong, and picks up the first down. He gets it all the way to the five before he goes down. So Kenton Keith looking good here. And his opportunity at running back tonight, Keith Smith came up and made the tackle for Detroit. Kenton Keith, rather, in the backfield for Indianapolis. And Kenton Keith will get the opportunity. And a nice job he does of taking advantage of it. But again, we've got a flag throw. Jackson, as you say, two of them haven't had an NFL carry. I would expect we'd see Kenton Keith, and here he is. He's number 36 here. Now, he played in Canada. He played in Saskatchewan, so he does have a little pro experience. But Kenton Keith, who figured to spend just about the whole night on the bench, is in on the second play of the game. On second and ten, they run the stretch play with him to the outside, and his initial NFL carry is pretty good, about eight yards, and he followed the new rookie left tackle, Tony Hugo, and that's a huge story in itself with the retirement of Tarek Glenn, the left tackle. You know, and this is what they call the stretch play. They're going to run. You take the back and he runs right to the outside of the numbers. The quarterback has to get out there, get the ball to him. He, he does, and he does very well. Now, Keith again. He's going to take it to the 42 yard line, tackled there by Brian Young. Again, we mentioned at the top last year, Dominique Rhodes. He's talking to some of the people around the team. And as they hand the ball to the backup back, Kenton Keith, you got the feeling in terms of the cornerbacks. Harper and David that okay you know they were they were all right but we got a few plop candidates we will, we will find a ploppy you know John I'm thinking about as Keith carries again you know these guys what a draw with Keith gets to the outside Foxworth is blocked they pick up the first down that was Jeff Saturday and Tony Hugo running down the field also yeah, it's the old slow draw, delay draw. And look at the blocking. The Denver Broncos playing pass up the field. Look at Tony Hugo. Wow, what a well, he walked into our room on Friday. What'd you what'd we say? <laughs> Keith. Stop the a yard shy of a first down. What's that? 
Second and ten. Eight and a half to go. And Keith Foxworth finally able to ride him down, but it goes for 13. He escaped Nate Webster. Well, you know, it's a sign of a really good football team. They want to run it. It's a situation where you're trying to run the clock down. Your tears have gone by. He has got, he's one of the better throwers in the league for sure. We know that. That's key. And he's going to fall near a first. So you say the mechanics have changed since oh, his first year. They definitely have. I thought I didn't retire. And there is Keith near a first down. Their last home loss was the divisional game. Just uh, less than a foot to go for the first. And they get it with, these, with Keith. So Tony has a, a Super Bowl ring, and he also has a number one bestseller. And days. days. There are a lot of Colt fans around the country. Heath is getting some good work and uh, ripping off some good runs. That goes for four more for Kenton Keith, who was a rough rider for Saskatchewan last year, three years in the Canadian League. He has 80 yards rushing today. He had a 1,000-yard season last year. But three wide receivers active today. This is Keith. Up a first down. Kent Keith takes it to the Bucks. 26. Former Canadian Football League star. Starting today for the injured Joseph Adai. Keith Malone back, and this is Keith again running right. And Keith takes it down to the Bucks. 22. You had a look a moment ago at Joseph Adai. Colts are without. Talk about bloodlines. Kent Keith is cousins with both Roger Craig, former great 49er running back. And Amon Green. Not too shabby. Not too, you're going to see those high knees that Roger Craig ran with. See if Ken's got those. We're up in Lincoln, Nebraska. He's headed to New Mexico State, making his first NFL start. Got a big game last week, 80 yards against the Denver Broncos. Manning pump fakes, throws. Catch is made out of the backfield by Keith. And a good effort by the Bucs defensively. First and goal from the one. Kent Keith. Ooh. Touchdown, Colts. The first touchdown of Kent Keith's NFL career. Well, you, you, you bring in Charlie Johnson as the tackle eligible. So he's going to line up at tight end, and then you put a wing. Here they are, all to that right side. Tackle, tackle, tight end. You fake your initial movement with the ball to that side, and then you run a misdirection back to the other side. Just just nice play from Atlas. The Colts lead is 13 nothing. A 15-play drive, Peyton Manning perfect, 7 for 7, and then Adam Vinatieri for the second time this season. Colts from their own 33-yard line, Ken Keith picks up the first, game of 6, out to the 30. We're down at 1, Keith turns the corner, picks up a first down. Ken Keith into Buccaneers territory, four years in the Canadian Football League, so Jeff Garcia, not the only former CFL star in this game, Kent Keith, a member of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Jeff Garcia played in Calgary for the... It's like a throw and catch up period. Third and short, Keith. First down. Kent Keith up the middle. So the Colts get a new set of downs with a half minute remaining. For the latest in fantasy stats, log on to FoxSports.com. Off the play fake on second down. Manning hits Keith out of the backfield. Keith takes it out to the 37-yard line for a first. Dallas Colts extend their lead, a 13-play drive. They eat up seven and a half minutes on the clock. 